Sharon, let me be among the first to congratulate you on this wonderful award. You've been a great contributor to IBM over the years, all the way from our systems to our research through our current efforts in green technology. I'm currently leading IBM's program in Big Green Innovations. This is a program where we've looked at how information technology, how IBM's material science and engineering expertise can help to solve critical problems around environmental issues. We've done this internally and the whole program around Big Green Innovations is taking our knowledge and applying it to help our clients now, help our suppliers and help our customers to achieve similar efficiencies in their own processes, whether it's carbon, whether it's water. It's just important for the everyday person to understand the impact that they're having on nature's ecosystem. I think the next five to ten years we'll see tremendous changes of people's awareness and government's awareness and responsibility for helping to drive that change. She has the ability to take chances and find new areas to expand the horizons of what IBM does. About a year and a half ago, IBM started a program with the Beacon Institute for Rivers and Estuaries. Their mission is to actually create an interactive system that involves real-time information about what is going on in the Hudson River. They have a very well-integrated program where they are working with colleges, universities, and high schools up and down the Hudson River to pull in more um, interest into these as science, technology, and, engin and engineering and mathematics programs. I think she has also a tremendous opportunity to, to impact the, the world as a whole, the environment. So one of the opportunities we have with the challenges around the environment is to translate the needs that we have to improve the environment into the science, technology, engineering, and math programs that we have in colleges, in high schools, and in middle school because you'll get the students excited about wanting to change the world, wanting to make an impact on the world. If they understand that science and technology and math and engineering are at the core of that, I just think we'll get so many more students involved in helping to shape this. You know, we talk about the moon race from the 1960s and how John F. Kennedy really helped to create a whole generation of scientists in the U.S. because of the moonshot. Let's forget about the moon race right now. This is an Earth race. How much more critical is it that we get students excited about solving the problems that we have today? She takes time to get involved in any kind of a program that will help young girls and young women stay interested in math and science. She has been a powerful, influential person in IBM, and she's been a role model to many women in IBM and outside of IBM. She's always willing to take time to pull someone else up. One of the reasons I actually spend a lot of time mentoring people and coaching people about careers in science and technology is because I consider myself an accidental engineer. I was never one that always knew I wanted to be an engineer, but if it weren't for those people who found something in me and saw some potential in me, I'm not sure I would have ended up you know, here today. I think people want to get behind her. Whatever she's doing, people want to get behind her and, and do that thing. She's been a great role model to me, and um, I know that there are many others like myself that feel the same way. Really being at the front of some of these new movements, um, some of the education technologies that we developed in the early 90s, uh, certainly the work that we did in computational biology and life sciences, and now to be at the forefront of you know, taking technology that can help to transform how we live on the planet, you know, all for the good. That uh, it amazes me that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm put in this company, but I'm, I'm thrilled by it and very much honored, humbled a bit as well. You're a great technologist, a great mentor, a great friend, and a great contributor. Congratulations on this award.